Hello and welcome to the latest episode in our tutorial video series on how to use R Plus Motion 2.0 software. In our last video, I showed you how to sync or connect your physical or actual robot to R Plus Motion 2.0. In this video, I will be showing you how to create motion units on your synced robot. Once you have synced your robot, create a new motion unit. I will name mine Surfer Wipeout. Remember that when you first connect your robot, the torque will be on, as evidenced by the rigid motors. The first thing I will do is disable torque. To do this, I will select all motors and click on torque off, the unlit light bulb. You can see that the motors are now loose and can be moved. On screen, you can also see that there are now X's underneath the picture of the lit light bulb under real robot, denoting that the torque is off on all motors. I'll then move the robot to the desired position and click torque on the lit light bulb. You can see that the motors are now rigid and can no longer be moved. Then I will click on Read Robot Pose. The on-screen animated 3D robot will mirror the pose of your synced robot as it reads the positions of the synced robot's servo motors. To insert a keyframe, click on the timeline and click on Insert slash Save Keyframe in the Keyframe menu. To insert another keyframe, click somewhere else on the timeline and click on the insert slash save keyframe button once more. Let's say that this time I only want to change the positions of the lower body joints, i.e. IDs 7 through 16. I will select these joints, click on torque off. As you can see, torque is only disabled on these joints not disabled on the upper body. But you can freely move the lower body. Move to the desired position. Click torque on. And finally click read robot pose. Then I will click on the insert slash save keyframe button to overwrite the previous keyframe. If I play back the motion unit on screen, I can see that it consists of the two keyframes that I just created. I can also click on any point in the timeline and click on Write Robot Pose so that I can see the pose at that specific time on my synced robot. Write Robot Pose writes the positions of the servo motors on the on-screen animated 3D robot to the synced robot's servo motors. So as you can see, if I randomly click here and then click right robot pose, the synced robot's pose reflects the on-screen animated 3D robot's pose. I can also create a keyframe on the on-screen animated 3D robot and translate it to my synced robot by using right robot pose. Keep creating keyframes using the synced robot until you are satisfied with your motion unit. Once you are, I will show you how to play back the motion unit. Always make sure that your robot doesn't lose its balance. By now, I hope that you have learned how to create motion units using the on-screen animated 3D robot as well as your synced robot. As for me, I have completed my Surfer Wipeout motion unit and would like to play it back for you. To do this, I will click on the Sync Mode button in the bottom left corner. You will see two arrows appear. Then I will click Play and play back Surfer Wipeout. Note that while I am in Sync Mode, I cannot edit my motion unit. To continue editing my motion unit, I can click on the Sync Mode button again. The two arrows will disappear and I can go back to editing my motion unit. Congratulations! 
you have learned how to create and playback motion units on your synced robot. In the next tutorial video, I will be showing you how to create and edit motions. See you next time!